Technologies New Delhi and uh, we organize faculty development program for you on power system design analysis using Big Silent Power Factory software. So our first day agenda is to describe you basic overview of Big Silent software and uh, also different functions and uh, analysis which we going to analyze here on Big Silent. At all the session, your mic will be muted because of a uh, lot of interferences that many people are connected through uh, this webinar. So uh, your mic will be muted. If you have any questions, please uh, just write in your chat box. We will answer when the session will be end. So now I will start this presentation. So we are the from Delsoft Technologies and we are the channel partner of uh, Dixalent Power Factory software in India. Dixalent stands for Data Simulator of Electrical Network. Dixalent was the first power system analysis software in the market. It has set trends in the power system modeling analysis and simulation for more than 25 years. Dixalent Power Factory is leading power system analysis software for application in generation transmission, distribution, industrial systems. Power Factory 2016, Dick Silent present a further step towards seamless integration of functionality and data management with a multi-user environment. So uh, everyone may have a question that why Dick Silent? So for this, uh, Dick Silent come with an integrated graphical one-line interface. It consists of one-line diagram including drawing functions, editing capabilities, and all relevant statics and dynamic calculating features are there. Power Factory offers most economical solutions as data handling, modeling capabilities, overall functionality replace a set of the other softwares, thereby minimize project execution cost and the training requirements of the engineers or uh, the faculty who is doing some research work. Some more features are there like uh, all-in-one power factory solutions promote highly optimized workflow. Power factory is easy to use. Carters for all standard power system analysis needs including high-end applications in new technologies such as wind power and distributive generation and the handling of very large power system. Extensive and flexible modeling capabilities with rich suit of power equipment models and libraries are present in Dixalent Power Factory software. So what's new in Dixalent? Power Factory 2016 released a portfolio of a new capabilities and features for improved result visualization and graphical representation is added to our new version. The new version come with completely redesigned look making the handling easier and accurate workflow. New electrical models and extensions added to existing model suit. Moreover, it integrates with a variety of new models and will provide an improved calculation performance through all the global calculation norms and processes. In rich analysis modeling capabilities perfectly suit for the network planning, operation studies, for a small microgrids over distribution network with the distributed generation to a large transmission systems taking new HVDC technologies and renewable generation in account. So these are some uh, basic new features which are included in our Dixal and Power Factory software. Now we will talk about power transmission and the features which we have in Dixal and Power Factory software. Nowadays, transmission grid is under a major changes to reliably store increasing amount of non-dispatchable resource while maintaining the operational efficiency and the system cost. The displacement of the load generation by asynchronous wind and solar generation imposes new challenges on the ability of grid to maintain system stability. For this, Power Factory offers a complete suite of functions for extending large interconnected power system 
and addressing these emerging needs. Its simulation algorithms can be applied to any AC or DC networks or topology. Support the simulation of new technologies such as converter based power generation, fax, voltage source converter and lot more. Power factory is also perfectly suited to the transmission system operational planning. It integrates a comprehensive set of tools to support automatic and parallel relief safety analysis and outage planning in the power system. Multiple interfaces is there. API DGS SIM interfacing which provide a flexible scripting and a lot more we can do analysis through a flexible scripting language with which Dixalent is equipped like uh, DPL which is Dixalent programming language where we can pro uh, write our program through C or C++ and Python programming is there. So software is basically GUI based also and uh, programming based also which enables the smooth integration with the existing system. So these are some basic features which we include in transmission systems. Now power distribution. In power distribution different phasing technologies such as single wire earth return, two phase, bi phase or classical three phase systems have created a need of multiple phase distribution power system modeling. For this process power factory provide comprehensive modeling features so studying all kind of electrical network with different phasing technologies. Either it is meshed or radial topologies and railway supply systems. To reduce network unbalance, improve quality of supply and optimize distribution network, Power Factory offers a large variety of functions such as multiple phase load flow analysis, short circuit analysis and multi-fault analysis including with the harmonic analysis, quasi dynamic simulations and lot more. Analysis functions are included in the excellent power factory software for distribution network. Other standard features including the modeling of distribution generation and virtual power plant, voltage drop analysis, consideration of LV load diversity, daily load and generation portfolio and easy to use protection coordination screens for our power electronic components used as protective device in our networks. So these are some uh, basic features with some other aspects which are more important like uh, we can integrate our system, distribution system with the GIS or a SCADA. So if we want to plan our network through any of the distribution section on any of the particular area which are related, which we have the GIS map of that area so we can plan our network through that GIS map and SCADA integration is possible with this software later we will uh, see more details about GIS and SCADA integration to the systems. Now we will see industrial network, industrial system supply power to different industries which needed with high power quality and high precision to ensure the continuity of production and the safety power factory offers vast array of functionality perfect suited for industrial users in additional power factory provides calculation accuracy appropriate standards clearly presented results and comprehensive and user friendly interfaces Power factory comes with high precision load flow algorithms, flexible short circuit calculation features, four wire modeling capabilities are there, protection systems modeling capabilities are there, harmonic analysis and also including with the filter designing options are there. So it is suited for studies including HV or LV cable sizing according to the different global or standard norms. We have motor starting, reacceleration and voltage drop analysis, protection schemes coordinations are there. We can restore our network with the resonance studies or harmonic distortion, network reliability analysis and fault models we can analyze in our industrial system analysis, time domain or time based simulations for stability analysis, 
and different electromagnetic transient analysis through our industrial system we can conduct here in this software. So now we will see power generation. Highly specialized expertise is available in many field of electrical engineers application to liberalize the power market at to the end of development power generation technologies. Reliability and efficiency are the main properties of power plant as it represents the core of power plant or a, any of the power system. Power factory offers various tools to analyze all these aspects related to power generation like model of motors, protection relays with different coordination schemes or electronic converters and DC equipment are placed and software equipped with their libraries which are capable of analyzing the power generation part of any of the power system. Voltage dependent PQ capability curves we can design model of generators which are governed on the steams, gas, diesel, water or AVR placement and power system stabilizers are can be analyzed through power generation. Calculation of short circuit in AC grids according to IC standards and VD standards and ANSI standards which are globally accepted. IC standards are basically European standards, VD standards is Germany based standardization of equipments and different norms of calculations. NSI standards are American standards of calculations and analysis. DC auxiliary supply grids according to IC standards 61660 and NSI IEEE based. In power generation stability and EMT simulations can be also done and with that help behavior during short circuit and load flow changes we can analyze our power day power generation behaviors, frequency, uh, frequency control features are there, transient stability, subsynchronous resonance and transfer interest facilities are there to analyze power generation. So these are some basic features which are related to the software are present in uh, our Dixieland power factory which are capable to analyze power generation. Now distributed generation. Generation at distribution level comes with new challenges for distribution planning due to reserve power flow, voltage drop and extreme variations in equipment loadings. Dixilent offers various generation technologies such as synchronous and asynchronous co-generation units, PV cells, wind turbines, fuel cells and micro turbines. Typical studies including steady state and dynamic analysis can be done with the distributive generation. Power factor is the ideal tool for analyzing the impact of distributed generation on the network. It combines the classical distribution system with different analysis functions such as voltage drop calculation, al balance network and load and generation modeling capabilities, selective analysis etc. The excellent comes with highly modern analysis tools featuring dynamic simulation functions and reliability analysis. For full support is available for developing and analyzing the impact of virtual power plant and new control technologies on the distribution generation level. So these are some basic features which are uh, included in distribution generation of the power factory. Now renewables. So uh, complex studies for integration of renewable generation into distribution, transmission and industrial networks are one of the key issues of a nowadays network planning and analysis. Power factory combines extensive modeling capabilities with advanced solution algorithms which can help to undertake full range of studies required for grid connection, grid impact analysis of wind power photovoltaic, 
plants and all kind of power plants modules using renewable energies. Power factory allow the inclusion of complex control dynamics, new factor technologies, blade control and wind turbulence. Facilities to analyze different renewable cases generated during the power flow. Some detailed uh, wind turbine models like doubly fed induction generator models are present. Converter driven synchronous machine models are there. Squirrel cage induction generator models are there. Manufacturer specific high precision models with built in control cores are present with the libraries for renewable study analysis in our software. So now we'll see some uh, power factory highlights. So power factory version offers major features in calculation of functionality, extensions to the data models, data management systems. It comes with improved visualization features, new models and solving algorithms. Newly enhanced power distribution analysis tools, integrate advanced network analysis and optimization technique. Some rich modeling capabilities for various load and distribution generation such as PV, fuel cells, wind generation and battery storage systems are present in the libraries. But power factory is perfectly suited for network planning operational studies of increasing uh, some of the basic new needs of the power factory are like smart grids we can design it here so it is perfectly suited to analyze and design a smart grid models in this software now the analysis part what we give in the base package our load flow analysis we can do, short circuit analysis, contingency analysis, network reduction, techno-economical analysis, voltage stability, load flow sensitivity test, overhead line and cable parameter based calculations, basic MV and LV network analysis, asynchronous machine parameter identification which are related to the generation part of the system. So uh, these are some uh, base package, base the functions or analysis part which we can do on our power factory software. Now advanced functions which are included with protection functions, cable analysis, transmission network tools, distribution network tools, power quality and harmonic analysis, R flash, reliability analysis functions, optimal power flow, stability analysis functions, electromagnetic transient functions, small signal stability, state estimation, converters and different interfaces, motor starting functions, scripting and automation. Scripting is basically given with the DPL programming language which will, uh, I will just go through in the integration part. So power factory system integration now we'll see. So scripting and automation is basically done with Dick Silent programming language which is stand for DPL offers an interface to users for automation of the task in power factory by means of a simple programming language and built-in editor the use can be defined automated command to perform different uh, repetitive calculations on the target network post process the result DPL also adds new dimensions to the Dick Silent Power Factory by allowing the creations of network optimization, cable sizing, protection coordination, stability analysis, parametric sweep analysis, contingency analysis and lot more kind of analysis we can just write through the program and can do analysis based on the programming. DPL method distinguish itself in the command batch method in several aspects. It can be decision and flow command. It also the other definitions use for user defined variables. It can be flexible interface for input to output or for accessing objects or it can be used for expressing the mathematical expressions 
which are fitted to optimize or uh, to calculate the results of our analysis. So th these are the basic features which are included uh, included in scripting and automation. Now GIS integration. So Power Factory GIS integration is perfectly implemented via DGS interface as the object and parameter definitions as the GIS side usually reflects user specific needs. Standard interfacing only provide when the standard application modules, standard process modules providing by different respective GIS manufacturers is in use. As soon as user specifies object and parameter definitions are applied, individual object mapping will be required. So this is basic overview of GIS integration where we can just design our network on the basic of regular area where we want to plan our network. So that kind of planning can be done and designing can be done and the network can be analyzed based upon that physical implementation on over a particular area. So that kind of analysis can be done here on Dix Island by just getting the output of some GIS software and based upon that we can design our network using the map as a background and plan our network through a particular area. So JS integration is possible with this software. Now is SCADA interf interface. Power Factory OPC is an object linking and embedded process. Control interface is an asynchronous communication and data exchange mechanism used in process interaction and is widely applied in a SCADA and control system. Power Factory software is executed as OPC client. OPC is basically a platform where the software part of the system and the hardware part of the system links together and exchange data between them. So for this OPC client while OPC server is controlled via the external source and OPC server libraries are available for various manufacturers for analyzing different aspects on real time. So we can integrate the software with the real time integration or with the SCADA systems. So now I will show you the software and some uh, detailed overview of analysis. So this is the basic window where we uh, just design our network. This window is used for designing our network. The, here these are the equipments which use for designing network and in the bottom there is an output window which is used for uh, results and various calculations. So now every user come with the manual and they have they can access Well analysis functions like contingency, dynamic, quasi-dynamic simulations and different analysis 
what we have discussed. So uh, while doing any of the analysis, we have to select, like if we are doing contingency analysis, we have to select contingency analysis here. If you are doing quasi dynamic simulations, you have to select quasi dynamic simulations here. So based upon your analysis part, you have to select your analysis tabs also. If I select the contingency analysis, you can see the upper tabs for calculations, they have changed. These are some importing functions with uh, different file formats and from different softwares. We can just import file like uh, DGS format is there, data format, dot .pfd format, dot .dj format, dot .dle formats are there to import some of the uh, software which are used for power system analysis like NEPLAN uh, importing features are there, PSS, SIM, integral, electric master. So these are some formats which uh, file can be imported to our system. In export features, we have DGS format, window meta file, bitmap, sim, UCT formats are there, including data, dot .pfd and dot .dz formats are there. So on the research version of this software, we can analyze the system with unlimited bus bar. It can be more than 25,000 bus bar. I have told you that uh, the software can be do analysis of very large power system. It can be consist of 20,000 uh, above or 25,000 above bus bars here in power factory. I'm just importing that file. So th this is basically LV distribution network designed on uh, the map interfacing like uh, it is interfaced with the GIS and then uh, they have designed this network. So based upon that, the LV distribution network has been designed. And this network consists of 0 0.4 KB. Basically, a uh, LV distribution network. This is 10 KB system linked with 0 0.4 KB system. And this is main 30 KV systems from where we are getting the LV distribution. So uh, th from this part we have just drawn that network of 0 0.4 KV. So th uh, this system consists of more than 25,000 bus bars. So if we are using research version of this software, we can analyze unlimited bus bars with unlimited nodes. So I will uh, show you some examples related to transmission system. Here, whenever you open this software, this uh, pop-up window will be uh, just come in front of you. Here you can see different analysis part which are related to the software like load flow analysis, contingency analysis, transient analysis, different analysis part related with the transmission systems, MV distribution systems, LV distribution networks are present. So when you open uh, this one, these are the video tutorials which just uh, help you how to execute any of the test related to the simulation which you want to do like I am uh, just going through the transmission network analysis. And you can see they have helped you to 
step by step how to analyze and how to design a network and how to do analysis like we are going to conduct load flow, AC load flow analysis right upon that. So uh, that kind of manuals, video manuals are present in the software with related to different kind of analysis. So I just have uh, an example which is a hybrid system connected with wind park. To wind park is there like wind park west and wind park east is there. This is basic overview diagram of the network and this is our basic network on which we will go to do our analysis. This is wind park west, this is wind park east. These are the generators. So system is working as a hybrid system and uh, connected to a transmission network. Now we'll analyze transients of uh, transient stability of different generators used in this network. Generator 5, 12 and 11 placed in this network. This is S12, S11. and S5 generator. So we will analyze the transient stability. So for that we have to run the simulation. You can see the background calculations here. Now the simulation run for 20 seconds and we will analyze the graph based upon that. So uh, this is the graph of rotor angle with the reference of machine angle of S5, S12 and S11 generators used in this You can change the colorings to 228 and also design various graphs like there are all the graphs present which are used to analyze different functions of power system like bar diagram, subplots, harmonic, xy, time over current plots, vector diagram, waveforms. FFT plots, time distance diagram. So these all plots are present to analyze any of the network, any of the analysis we are going to conduct.
we analyze the system for KV curves. You can see the PV curve analysis with the running converges which is going at here at different functions. So these are voltage magnitudes can increase this question also see the differences. So the, these are uh, PV curve analysis. Now I will show you some different examples. on wind farm So th these are different wind turbines connected to a system and again distributed to a, dis to a distribution channel. So later on I will design a network to show you how we can design network here. Okay. So, with the respect of wind farm, we'll analyze different PQ diagram calculations based upon our wind farms which is basically a 15 megawatt wind farm containing 6 wind turbines with fully rated converters connected to 20 kV distribution section. So here the PCC which is acting as a converter and connected to a distribution section. This is our generation part. So we will just execute a load flow on this system. You can see the different colorings which just show you the different voltage levels on which the system is acting.
voltage and loading levels as with simply analysis is acting. You can see the different values you can uh, for load flow you can change it to like PQH values, angle shift values, different uh, input values, loading values. You can also provide some different models if you have of wind turbine. If you have time characteristics of active power contribution, so one year of this sample year, you can just feed the data and analyze the system there. You have time characteristic of wind speed throughout the wind turbine in a one year of time span. You can just feed projection. So that can given to our system, and the system based upon that can be analyzed as a generation unit here in power factory. So on uh, wind farm we will do PQ diagram analysis. So you can uh, see the different PQ analysis results like uh, cable loading, transformer loading, maximum ins inside voltage of power plant, different voltage inside power plant, minimum at the generation unit terminals. So these are uh, different analysis which is required in PQ analysis. Based upon that, this graph has been analyzed of wind farm PQ diagrams. So now I will tell you how to design a simple network here on power factory. So power factory is GUI based. We just have our buses. These are bus bars. For designing network, firstly we have to place our bus bars in on designing area. Now we have synchronous machine. These are the nodes. on which uh, we can connect our components. So from first bar I just connected a synchronous machine. From last first bar it is a load and from second to last bus bar I am connecting a line and from first to second bus bar I just connected to winding transformer. So like this we can design our network, this software is UI based. Whenever you want to connect any of the component, these nodes are there. You can uh, tap on any one of the red, like one, two, three, four nodes are there which are showing. You can tap to connect any one of them, it doesn't make any difference. So in the educational version, it is you can just connect 50 appliances or components to any of the bus bar, but in research version you can just connect unlimited elements to any of the bus bar. So just while tapping this connection can be done. So for fitting the parameter when we just double click on any of the appliances you can see the types are there. You can, uh, when click on the type, you can see the global type. Here you have the global libraries equipments where you can tap any one of them and select and import the parameters to your synchronous machine or the element on which you are feeding data. 
Likewise, project type is there. Project type means if you're doing some project based upon that the same synchronous machine you need it here also. You can just import the generation data from there and can import on this uh, particular experiment. New project type, you have to feed your own data. If you're doing some load flow analysis, based upon that you have to feed uh, subsequent uh, load flow analysis data. In VD or short, uh, IEC short circuits, if you want to just uh, go through a detail overview, you have to feed uh, data based upon that. So these are some basics like we can set our plant categories based upon that our generation is through a nuclear or through a hydro or biomass or uh, we are using PV cells. So uh, these are some basic uh, features which come with all the equipment. So based upon that we can do uh, analysis and we can also generate the heat maps of the system which will show the temperature variation and heat map of all the equipment used in our network and set a overview that which part of the system are working at high temperature or at more risk in our power system. So different functions related to I don't know why this showing <laughs> this top of the thing. So all the functions related and analysis part related to the power factory are present like load flow, short circuit, uh, harmonic analysis, flicker meter, optimal power flow. So like 22 different simulations which we can do here on this software in any of the research version or educational version of the software. So when you open this, how they just conduct the test, different test in different standards the manual will tell you how to conduct it on this software. So every user have this manual when they just go to help and uh, they have this manual. We have a state estimation. We have some uh, 14 bus, 39 bus, standard examples and also we have IEC, different uh, paper published based upon that example present in this software preloaded 
just have to run the simulation. This is single phase uh, fault cases. So this is a ICA standard uh, single phase to ground fault which is executed and you can see fault at this bus bar, this bus bar and second bus bar. Two, three, four, five buses are just having fault at and these are the different values of uh, fault case studies. So now we will see the detailed report of the fault. Through the network. So uh, this is just I said test network system which fault has been done. You can see uh, different parameters and different calculations which are needed for analyzing the system. Based upon the locations you can also execute just have to delete this. So based upon uh, the buses where the fault is occur, based upon that we have the different values of RMS peak current, short circuit current and different values which are needed for analyzing the short circuit analysis. So this is the basic overview and uh, tomorrow we will see the load flow analysis. So now you can ask any question if you have related to this software overview. Please write your questions in the text box. So one question is there, is that Excellent has the capabilities of a smart grid simulation? Yes sir, uh, the Excellent does contain specific tools to analyze and model smart grids and also if you specify your work that uh, what kind of simulations you are going to do, you can assist you through the recommendations which are given to any of the specific tools on which any of the systems will be analyzed. One question is there, how can I interface MATLAB models with the Power Factory? So MATLAB sibling and Power Factory models can be uh, co-simulated in an environment which is given through a DSL command which is a uh, silent script command through which we can just uh, simulation language which we use to define the dynamic controllers with, with uh, which we receive input signal through the MATLAB file and that file can be imported to the silent where we can analyze the MATLAB models in Power Factory.
one question is there how can we integrate ymax to the smart grid in excellent so for ymax integration in power factory power factory offers IEEE standards 802.61 standard model for integration of data from OPC appliances connected in a network. The power factory offers possible to use OPC interfaces with different modules available in the market. One question is there that we can simulate wind turbine or PV modules. Yes sir, we can uh, just simulate wind turbines and PV models here as we can simulate a smart grid also here in this software. For providing software, we will send you the link Please mail if anyone need the demo of the software. So we will register your name and we'll send you through the mail link. And from there you ha just have to click on the link and give your domain email ID on that link, uh, that uh, registration area. There you, you will be provided with the link where you can download and they will just provide the software for 28 days, we can analyze and use the software for 28 days. I will mail you the details regarding uh, what is the cost of software and uh, please write to us on mail if you need the, uh, the costing of software if you want to know, we will mail you and uh, software comes with two different versions, one is educational and one is research. So research is having unlimited bus bars and unlimited not where educational version is have limitation of 50 bus bars. So educational version come with the package of 25 users which can simulate and run simulation at a 25 users simultaneously and in the search version you can buy it as a one version, one user, two user or as user is specified user you can get. Whether uh, one question is there whether we can design a micro grid model using software based on distributive generation. So yes sir we can uh, design and also provide uh, different integrated multitude to generation types and execute a comprehensive number of studies based upon that like load flow, quasi dynamic simulations, uh, different uh, protection studies related to the microgrids. Yes sir, we can design uh, and use power electronic based converters here on this software. One question is there, uh, one faculty is using 11 kV distribution system protection. So he is asking can we use this software. Yes sir, you can use uh, this uh, software there in distribution system and tomorrow our session is on load flow so we will see uh, the load flow analysis uh, what kind of uh, different analysis part related to load flow is present in this software
tomorrow i will uh, one question is that how the circuit will made with more described way i will show you how the circuit will made here and uh, how we can conduct different analysis this is a gui uh, based and uh, one question is there related to benefit of this software over matlab so uh, matlab uh, is different software which is having the tool boxes of all the uh, departments but it is whether in this software it is dedicated to the power system only and on different studies which are conducted to uh, different levels shown that the power factory having more accuracy than matlab in different analysis we have some papers published on this i will mail you which uh, where it is just given that for analysis of large systems having different uh, analysis part the power factory is suited best for power system analysis so uh, that papers are there i will just send you through the mail which explains better way what is the difference between matlab and the uh, dixel power factory software one question is there if the models are made in matlab can we open it yeah sir i just told you that we can just import that uh, file using dsl commands and uh, use the, uh, that network here and uh, based upon that we can do analysis on different uh, diagrams which we imported from matlab yes sir solar panels can we design here on this software you can ask question if you have a question you can also write to us on uh, my mail id which is ravi at the rate delsoft.in will definitely get back to you to different answers and uh, the person who is not get any answer i will just mail you answers thank you everyone for attending webinar and tomorrow we'll have second session on load flow analysis within power factory software thank you